Hey guys, it's NightMD, and uh, I just decided to kind of take a break from eFootball 2022. I'm still working on my review, but the game's actually not fun, to be honest. It, it's not all bad, it's not all bad. Definitely some things are better in eFootball 2022, but generally speaking, e PES 2021 is easily a more mature and way, way more fun game. So I decided to go back to my uh, PES 2021 uh, league, um, my league campaign with Real Madrid playing 20 minute games with um, Legend on minus one speed, which I absolutely love. It's a way more realistic pace, gives you more time versus Legend to kind of uh, figure out what you want to do on Fuma, which is full manual controls, which I've spoken about before in my reviews. And um, and yeah, it's a way more, way more fun game, uh, way more realistic game, absolutely. And You'll feel that the most in the ball physics, which have been massively downgraded in um, in uh, in eFootball. So, this is a very enjoyable game, and I thought for the first time in this channel I'd speak about a full game of PES 2021 from start to finish, uh, or at least what I got recorded. So, a funny but realistic scenario where the ball keeps deflecting as you clear it off. And then um, we see a b the beautiful demonstration of the ball physics in PES 2021. Uh, this goal is, it's yeah, it's a deflection, but it's a beautiful goal when it comes to ball physics. And you can see how the ball acquires a new spin as it um, ricochets off one of my defenders, acquires a spin downwards, so it spins faster downwards and hits Courtois and goes back in. Uh, again, you can see it here. Um, they're taking their shot, deflects off the head of uh, my defender, loops back in, beautiful, and these kind of ball physics, they, they don't exist in in, in, uh, in eFootball 2022, and I'll, and I'll talk about that in detail in my re realism review. It's a huge deal, actually. So, here, um, trying to build a short pass attack, I have my, my, um, my build up set to short, short pass, so, uh, Lucas, so you can see here, yeah, in PES 2020, you can still dribble past players if you leverage your momentum versus uh, the opposing uh, player's momentum. Uh, because everyone says that you can only do that in eFootball 2022. No, it's just way easier in eFootball 2022. But you can still do it in uh, in PES 2021. Here kind of I butchered my, uh, my clearance here. I should have waited for the ball to descend. Another corner. Uh, I always have my my uh, defending positioning set to mixed, so some players are man marking, others are in position. Uh, here I, I brought Courtois outside. When the ball's closer, I, I do that. I tend to do that. Um, lots of very patient um, uh, clearances here. You don't want to rush to a player, otherwise uh, the AI will turn and take a shot. It's mostly going to be a, a goal scored. Um, this is, I thought it was a foul, but apparently the uh, defender touched the ball first, so that's not a foul anymore. Uh, again, building up my play here with some patient manual passing. Uh, I'm down one goal here, so Asensio looks like it's blocked here, so I'm going to turn and uh, I'm going to change uh, my play here. And again, in eFootball 2022, what you do is try to dribble your way past uh, defenders, which is way more easy. Uh, it's way easier, way easier in eFootball 2022, but... It's realistically not as easy here in PES 2021, where if, if a player's uh, got momentum over you, you just churn and you find another way around. Um, so, I'm still not on an attack. I'm still having my defenders uh, or my players, my team uh, positioning at neutral, because it's very dangerous to attack against uh, Legend. Um, so, just waiting for my opening here. Uh, a lot of the defending versus Legend has to do with blocking shots and blocking passes. Uh, here, um, Asensio gets uh, a nice position uh, ball, I'm trying to move to a nice shooting position, and a just beautiful, beautiful manual shot. And that's what I love about manual shooting in PES 2021. You need to know which uh, player has a dominant foot and which dominant foot it is, how to bring the ball to this dominant foot while you're dribbling, making uh, a track making a nice uh, path to the goal. So here I'm bringing the ball to my left foot and then I'm opening a nice angle where I can uh, easily uh, or not easily, relatively easier uh, to uh, move my analog stick towards the far angle. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm moving the ball to my left foot, 
uh, so that I can take a wider angle shot towards the far angle and it works beautifully here one of the beautiful equalizers that I've scored against legend so generally here the legend AI will try to rubber band and that's what I hate about kind of the scripting in um, in PES 2021. There are mods that fix scripting in uh, Master League. I haven't tried them, but they are part of the um, of the uh, of the new uh, gentleman uh, gameplay mod. But uh, I'm now using the de default vanilla gameplay. Actually, uh, I had a few reservations about the versions of the gentleman mod that I tried, but um, I think Ibra uh, was in the process of fixing them. Hopefully. Uh, he's ironed them out by the time I switch to uh, back to the gentleman mod, but now this is vanilla gameplay. Uh, here, um, of course, manual passing it's a, it's a lot harder than than uh, assisted passing. You have to properly aim. You're under stress. It's realistic because when you're under stress in real life, your passes will be um, will be um, off target in real life, and uh, that's kind of how manual passing works if you've got the freedom to to pass wherever you want you'll uh, you'll get your passes right so here kind of passing into space uh, allowing my players to move to the ball which i love about manual passing here uh, i kind of uh, miss pass uh, in the opposite direction of marcelo's run to the ball gets lost again here i'm just trying to block passes here uh, trying to know where they're going to pass and i'm moving my players there to block the pass um, what, what what I find not realistic against the AI is that even if I'm on manual shooting, their chances of shoot of scoring from a uh, uh, a far shot is very slim. Long shots don't go in uh, from the AI, and I love that because if they did, it would have been a catastrophe. They could have scored from anywhere. Of course, if you're playing online against a manual player, then yeah, they can score from anywhere if they're a good enough uh, manual player. So, uh, another deflection. Uh, it looks bad, of course. It's a deflection goal. It's not a beautiful goal, but uh, but uh, it's a realistic ball physics. And the way the Courtois doesn't have time to react to it, it's so at close range. The ball re reacts realistically to uh, to my deflection. I think it was Alaba. Uh, again, a realistic goal. Um, yeah, it was Alaba. But uh, it's it's a realistic goal, and that's what I care about. I love to play games that are realistic. So again, they're ahead, but now I've actually jumped to uh, to the second half, and there are three one. There, there's a two goal difference. I didn't manage to capture the third goal because I was so upset. Uh, it came off my my keeper's glove, and I thought I, he should have scored. Uh, he should have uh, saved it. So now I'm two goals ahead, and my chances of winning this game against Legend have have gone dramatically down. But um. Uh, with 20 minute matches that's the that's the beauty of 20 minute matches time uh, is way more flexible you're able to do more in whatever time you have uh, assorted to you so um, here a nice uh, tackle by by Modric tackling in PES 2021 it's not easier than than eFootball and it's just um, maybe simpler to do but there's an art to it and you have to time your position and your tackle to, to get the ball back um, so here, I'm kind of trying to, to block any open play uh, player for the AI and make sure that they have difficult shots to make. Here's a nice save by Courtois, another uh, well-timed tackle by Marcelo. Finds, uh, finds Asensio, then Asensio sees uh, Bale all the way in the back, a beautiful, beautiful manual pass. I'm moving with Bale and I know that I'm, I'm heading towards the far angle, so I take my shot and it goes in. And again, the beauty of manual passing. Uh, uh, an easy shot in real life is an easy shot uh, when you're playing with manual shooting. So here, I'm just moving in a straight line towards the far angle. I don't need to change my analog stick anymore. I just need to take the shot in my direction of running. And uh, that's an easy manual shot. Uh, so again, a beautiful, beautiful manual pass. That's the hardest part of this game, of this uh, play, to, to pass the ball into Bale's run and not have him wait for the ball. Uh, instead, uh, use his running momentum. So now I'm 2-3 ahead. There is hope. I still need to play cautiously. I'm now playing on attack. So um, Marcelo takes the ball. Uh, here's Modric with the ball. Here I have Modric uh, instead of Marcelo on the flanks. That what I. These are typically the changes that I do. I'm going to change my flanks because I'm on attacking fullbacks. So uh, 
it pretty much drains my 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 full backs momentum. Uh, another botched clearance here. This is a very dangerous shot. I need to block. Uh, I got lucky here. I got lucky. This could have been scored, uh, but uh, I just blocked uh, the shot, so he was forced to take it wider than usual. Uh, typically, Modric would be here to receive this. I'm not sure why. Maybe he's too tired to track back, which is another realistic feature when your players are tired. Uh, they're not in, in their proper positioning, uh, which is realistic again. So again, I'm going to try to do the same thing. Modric will be not in this position. Maybe I'm on attacking. Maybe that's why Modric is uh, pulled forward uh, more than usual. Um, again, I just need to block the shot here, which I do. Um, Modric take the ball back. Uh, the uh, the AI blocks the shot. So again, here, Modric kind of predicts where the ball is going to be, and I block it. Um, uh, Bale gets a foul in the perfect position here in, uh, in eFootball. Like he, the referee gave me the advantage. Cruz is already off, so my second choice here is Alaba. These are typically easy to score. You just need to be wide enough because players with strong curl will curl it back into the goal. And that's exactly what happens. So that's a 3-3 three, uh, three here, an equalizer. Absolutely beautiful goal. Um, very happy with it. Uh, I always knew it was going in, to be honest, and I think things haven't changed much in eFootball 2022. It's just as easy to score free kicks, maybe even easier. Um, it should have, it should be a lot harder to score in real life, this, this free kick. It's just so guaranteed in PES 2021. I think it has to do with predictive movement. This here is a collision. Should have been a foul for the AI, but the, um, the game engine didn't detect that the AI got possession, so they let it pass. Uh, worked in my advantage here. So, um, I have Bale uh, trying to take a shot here, which he has all the right to. Uh, I got maybe too safe and aimed it uh, towards the center. Uh, keeper saves it. But uh, again, uh, this is a realistic target because in, in real life you want to be uh, on target rather than uh, just miss the target. So, that's just the nature, the psychological nature of shooting. Um, here I know that Asensio is on his uh, weaker foot, so I move back towards uh, his dominant foot, we lose the ball. Now it's a matter of avoiding <laughs> conceding a goal, because it's the 81st minute and the AI is brutal if you if you let him go. So here, uh, I'm trying to block the pass here. Again, I block this other pass. Uh, pass towards the keeper now, that's a safer option. Clear the ball. Um, now I have a very nice opening. Benz takes the ball here. A beautiful, beautiful pass to Asensio. He's open, scores the goal. Beautiful manual passing as well. Manual shooting as well. Uh, and here's here's the thing I love about manual controls is the ball's movement into the goal is very natural. It's um, it's not towards the angles very acutely with assisted shooting. So here the most difficult part here is getting this pass between the two uh, AI defenders uh, to Asensio. Uh, again, it's very rewarding because I'm the one who did this, uh, made this pass. I'm the one who chose this acute angle, finds Asensio. Beautiful off-ball mo movement from Asensio. I'm not moving Asensio. Uh, the game is uh, moving him. So, um... Very happy with this goal. Now I'm ahead 4-3. The AI will be brutal. I move back to neutral. Uh, not even on defending because if you're on defending, you won't have enough players in your final third to, to apply this amount of pressure, which I'm doing right now. Um, so here I'm just going to pass back. That's the safer option to do. Mendy's open. I'm going to pass over to him. And um, I'm just going to keep doing safe passes to players that I know are open. Um, he, so here, the worst case scenario is... Uh, they get a, uh, a, uh, a throw in way deep into their half, so that's probably a good option to 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 throw the ball into uh, their their third. And here I wanted to pass to Asensio, but then I can't super cancel fast enough, and he just makes this wimpy pass to the keeper. Um, again, you want to have enough players in your final third to apply this amount of pressure, because they're on all attack. Don't make no mistake; they are attacking. You want to take advantage of this. Um, but you still don't want to be on full attack as well. You want to be able to defend. Uh, so here, I'm just terrified of this turnaround. Thankfully, I don't. I lay off the pressure button, so my player, my defender, is able to lay back and block the shot 
could have been a goal if I had my uh, my, my button on the uh, pressure or, or tackle or S um, on my controller. So uh, here it's the final minute of extra time. I just want to avoid this goal. That's that's my goal here. Uh, blocking passes, making sure I'm making safe tackles, running towards the, 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 the fullback here. Lovely tackle. Again, it's an art. You need to know when to pass. This might have been a goal for me, but I'm happy. 4-3, I won the match. Um, I would say Asensio should have been the man of the match here. He made a goal, scored one. Uh, beautiful game and now that's of course the the cutscene mod if you want to watch more PES 2021 footage I posted this video with my most beautiful PES 2021 uh, goal scored over the past year give it a watch in the meantime I'll be working on my eFootball 2022 video so I'll see you in the next one thank you